G'day guys, Ziggy D here, back with some more Fallout 4 action. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a pro tip for weapon mod crafting, specifically how you can take mods off one weapon and put them on another. Now, this does work for armor crafting as well in some cases. So, this even works with mods that you can't actually craft. So, say there's a tier 3 mod on a weapon you just found, but you want to put it on another weapon, like a legendary weapon that you have that you've been trying to modify, then you can even take that off and put it on your existing weapon, even if you don't have that skill. So, this knowing this method gives you a lot more flexibility in crafting your weapons, and I could even see you crafting and modifying pretty good weapons without actually having any skills invested in weapon modification at all. It allows you to get by with that. So, here's my example situation for you guys. I have chili here my 10 mil pistol that does cryo damage. I've been modifying the crap out of this thing as you can see it looks kind of ridiculous. Now I did just recently find another 10 mil pistol that has something better on it that I want. It has an advanced receiver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this advanced receiver and put it on Chili. So I just go ahead and select the advanced receiver here and then I replace it with a mod I already have or just a cheaper mod that I can craft and replace it with. Now it's a bit dumb that Bethesda didn't just allow us to break down weapons into their components so that we can shuffle them around and make new weapons out of them. That would have made this system amazing and I fully expect some mods to come out soon that allow that to happen because that would have been the way this system should have worked. Nonetheless we have a way of working around this. So I have the advanced receiver which is all the way down the bottom here. Gun Nut 2. Even if I don't have Gun Nut 2, I can go ahead and replace this with the standard receiver. I believe I have a heavy frame receiver there, so I just replaced the uh, this one here, the advanced receiver with the heavy frame receiver, and this now frees up the advanced receiver in my inventory. So if I exit out here and take a look in my inventory, you'll see in my mods list the advanced receiver. So I now have this that I can apply to Chili. So I can just go ahead here, click on Chili, Swap out my calibrated receiver all the way back up here and switch this one to the advanced receiver. Perfect, so I've now upgraded Chili. Now this works particularly well on muzzles and things, anything that you can essentially replace with nothing. So there's some cases like for example the muzzle here where you can replace them with no muzzle and you can see that requires nothing. So that basically this comes with a compensator on it and I could just select no muzzle here. It says no, make no muzzle but you don't actually have to do anything and then I now have the compensator in my inventory that I can switch out to other weapons as well. So works really well in those scenarios specifically as well. So that's the tip. Hopefully you guys find it helpful and are able to craft all of your weapons much better than you would be able to otherwise. And I want to give you guys one bonus tip before I leave here as well, because if you do a lot of weapon crafting like me, then you're going to have a lot of mods floating around your inventory and they each weigh half a pound each. Now you can actually transfer those into your crafting bench here. So if I go to my mods list, I can shift all these over into my crafting bench and just do this at your crafting bench where you spend most of your time crafting. So for me that's Sanctuary and you can place all of those in the crafting bench, free up some weight on your character. This ended up freeing like 30 pounds up on me and then whenever you try to do any weapon mod crafting it will automatically pull the mods from the crafting bench. So anyway guys if you're new to the channel and you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other Fallout 4 content. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.